with that, we have Kelly McAloon, the Vice President of Snowville Tour Tourism and Trade. Good evening, Mayor and Council. Since our last report, STAT has been extremely busy. On June 15th and 16th, we transformed our sizzling summer weekend into a benefit for Amory Copeland that most all of us attended. With the help of our city leaders, the Snellville Police Department, Vicki Gallup, Brianna Quidor, all the generous citizens, and the anonymous donors of Snellville, we were able to raise $19,000. At the last city council meeting on June 9th, excuse me, July 9th, we presented the $19,000 check to Andy and Paige Copeland, who received the check with much gratitude and thanks. This has always been a very giving community, and it is wonderful to see the outpouring of love and support for Amy. I just wanted to take a minute to thank Kurt Schultz, who went the extra mile when I asked him if he could make these little sponsored table holders. It may look like something minor, It may, it may look minor, but this effort, Kurt made 20 of these. He spent about 20 hours on this. I asked him to make these on Tuesday, and he had them for me on Thursday. And of course, this came out, and we had to have the, um, the art put on both sides with our sponsorship. And who better to do that is Kathy Emanuel. And Kathy said, sure, Kelly, when do you need them? That's the kind of volunteers we have in Snellville. And, and honestly, I have never worked with a more dedicated and committed group of volunteers than we have here. Um, together we can do so many things and accomplish things in a very big way here. Uh, I want to again thank everybody for making Amy's weekend so perfect. Our next event was the 4th of July. For those of you who couldn't make it, you missed an awesome event. This was an extremely successful event and was run on a very skeletal crew. We estimated approximately 15 to 20,000 people in attendance throughout the city of Snellville. Thank you to all the dedicated volunteers who helped make this event so successful. And I'd like to take a minute at this time, if you will, um, to just name the people because there were just a few of us who really put this together and made this happen in a successful way. I want to thank Mayor Couts, Mayor Pro Tem Witts, Councilman Howard, Councilman Emanuel, Councilman Sabah, Councilwoman Kraus, former State Representative Melvin Everson, former Councilman Kurt Schulz, Stat Board President Don Britt, Stat Board Member Barbara Bender, Stat Board Member Susan Chapelier, Stat Board Member Brian Penley, Stat Board Member Gretchen Schulz, Kathy Emanuel, Marcy Ferris, John McAloon, Joe Burnett, Tricia Rollins, Gail Deal, Carl Heisman, Jay Krause, Charlene Adams, some South Gwinnett High School cheerleaders, the First Baptist Church, Craig Barton, and the Public Works crew. Special thanks to our presenting sponsors, Summit Chase Country Club and Eastside Medical, who sponsored the wonderful display of fireworks. And I also want to thank Hamilton Financial for their sponsorship of the 4th of July as well. This was the largest crowd ever in attendance in Snellville for the 4th. And a huge thank you to our Snellville's finest police department for doing a fantastic job with traffic control and keeping us safe. Now the last event was our movies last Saturday evening. Popcorn in the Park, we featured Happy Feet 2. We want to thank Councilman Howard who came out and joined us. Stat Board Member Gretchen Schultz and Stat Board Member Aisha Cooper joined us uh, with their grandchildren and children. This was a great movie. The weather held out and the clouds moved on and the movie was enjoyed by all. B98.5, Aldi and DaVita Dialysis sponsored this event and gave out prizes to the kids. Mark your calendars for the next Popcorn in the Park movie on August 18th featuring the Lorax. Activities will be held from 7 to 10 at Briscoe Park. And view our website and Facebook page for um, announcements on the contest that will be held that night. Any questions? Questions? Just a comment. Thank you for all you do. You do oh. an outstanding job. Thank you. 
couple things. Uh, first, I inadvertently thanked Susan Culpepper last time, and I meant <laughs> Susan Chapelier. So thank you for your service. I'm sorry for that mistake. Um, on some some more official business, uh, I think back in May I met with Joe Burnett um, and asked for some documentation, some budgets, and things of that nature. And I was supposed to receive those in June, so I just like to make another formal request uh, to Stat to get that information. Have, have you not received any no. budgets from Stat? I'll make sure that um, happens. There, and there are some other items, and I'll be happy to follow up with the letter. But I just wanted okay. to, go ahead and make that request. Um, could you please email myself as well? Copy yes. me. Sure. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Is that it? Thank you. Thank you. With that, Mayor Pertemwitz, Citizens.